Well, a lot of like people told me that it won't work, and like if like because the thing is, I saw so many people in South Africa, and if they couldn't help me, obviously nobody can help me, and like. I don't know, people just told me, even some of the cars that I sold, like, I had them watch some of your videos and they're not really... So yeah, like, the main reason that I came to you is because I've been, since, since that ball thing, which I put on my back, I've been having, like, um, concentration issues, uh, brain fog, which they call it, concentration issues, sleep problems, um, a lot of neurological things, like, I noticed that, like, my, my smell is off, taste is off, um, I've got ringing in my ears, um, just a bunch of like stuff. I yeah, don't know, like, all weird stuff. stuff. And so he initially went to neurologists, two neurologists who prescribed a bunch of drugs for him, um, I forget, Neurontin or some kind of stuff, and uh, sleeping pills, pain pills, nerve. depression medication, nerve pills, and uh, it didn't really help him at all, right? No, made it worse. And so he went to another neurologist, and they had some CAT scans and some blood work. He had a brain MRI that did, that did nothing. They even think he think he thought he, they think he thought they think he had um, probably meningitis or some kind of spinal infection because they did lumbar puncture on him too. All negative, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so he's done all the medical stuff, and they've gone come up with nothing, which is usual in this case. And so uh, he went to seven chiropractors, acupuncturists. We talk about self-adjusting ever since the ball thing in his back. Yeah, so like initially when I um, I used to self-adjust a lot before I had any issues, um, especially <laughs> in my neck, but after using this ball, for some reason, when I would try to self-adjust my neck, it wouldn't go at all. Yeah. And actually one of the chiros that I went to as well, he could also not, and he's pretty good, like he couldn't get my neck moving like correctly at all. And uh, JP, look at he even named it, I covered his last name up, but he, <laughs> he made a flow chart of all his pain. So when you guys come out here, you're not welcome to come unless you bring this. <laughs> <laughs> JP's uh, email address will be in the description below. I'm just kidding. He, he goes, don't send any of them to me. It took me forever to do this. But again, I want to show you this. He did a thing. I talked about all his symptoms. So brain fog, blurry vision, poor sense of smell and taste, swallow, uh, shallow breathing, difficult falling asleep and staying asleep, feeling of off balance, spinning sensation inside, constant dizziness, especially when standing up. Uh, fatigue, anxiety, runny bowel movements. And why do I point all that out? Because that's all part of imbalance, guys. Tell us about your headaches. Like maybe once or twice a week. Gotcha. And they used to be worse. Yeah. <laughs> and vertigo, he has vertigo every day, every lightheadedness day. every day. Mm -hmm. uh, sleep, tell us about your sleep. Horrible. Like I had a bad case of insomnia where I went like four nights without any sleep. Literally like hallucinating and stuff and just horrible, horrible sleep. And like even till now, I wake up four to five times a night. Where before it would just be like maybe once a night. Tell us about your uh, your talk about the uh, driving the car and not being scared. Then driving your wife scares you at home by the, <laughs> how your senses are off. We just wanted to know how your yeah, senses are like, off a little bit. Like it feels like my like that like my flight and uh, flight or fight response. Flight. Yep, yep, yeah, yep, it's yep, like yep. completely off because like normal things that would maybe like give you a fright wouldn't like fright me at all. And then simple things would like scare the hell out of me. Yeah. So it's weird, I don't, like it's just completely... JP, JP is exhibiting classic falling apart symptoms. I mean, this happens because the body is just falling apart. And it's not only falling apart physically, but mentally. And uh, lastly, we'll go over this. So all the people you told to come over here, what were they saying about coming this far to come see a chiropractor? Well, a lot of like people told me that it won't work. And like, if like, cause the thing is I saw so many people in South Africa and if they couldn't help me, obviously, Nobody can help me and like, I don't know, people just told me, even some of the cars that I sold, like I had them watch some of your videos and they're not really. What are you saying? What that? No, that just makes me feel a lot better in terms of the brain. Interesting, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and so put your arm above your head, left one. How about your chest pain or back pain? Mm. How much? Two, three. Okay, take a deep breath. How hard is it to take a breath? Yeah, it's quite difficult. And how much pain in your chest when you take a deep breath? Two or three. Two or three, right. Next, squat to the ground, please. How about the knee pain there? Mm -hmm. How much? Like a three. Three, go and stand when up. When I go up, it's like a four. So okay, gotcha, five. okay, gotcha. And so we're gonna do two more things, guys. So we're gonna have them smell, okay? So come a little closer and see. Can you guys, can you guys smell this? This is gum. <laughs> can you smell it? Yeah. Smell it? So what does it smell like to you? It smells like gum, but not that minty. Gotcha, so you can smell it, okay. Now this is uh, some CBD oil. I don't recommend this crap, but again, somebody had it, so we're, have them smell this. You smell that too? Kind Little, of menthol. Yeah. yeah, gotcha. So we're gonna do a comparison on this one, the smell. And now we're also gonna do a comparison on seeing. 
What, uh, this one right here. Uh, creative care. Okay, how blurry is that? It's more blurry than my right eye is by default, like it was always more blurry, but it's it's pretty blurry. Okay, okay. now why don't you just keep that eye covered? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the okay. left eye covered. Now, uh, can you shoot him? Shoot him? Shoot him? Shoot him? Shoot him? Now, uh, go ahead and lean your heart, your neck to the right. He tells us when he does this, what happens to your vision? Yeah, I, I, if if I didn't read it before, I couldn't make out what it says now. So just tilting your head to the right does mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So you can't read this anymore. Mm -hmm. Now go back up where you were. Now, yeah, a lot you, better. A lot better. Yeah, but still blurry. Yeah. Good. So that was really interesting to me. I've never seen that before, so I want to get that on camera. The patient's x-rays reveal a lot. A 16 millimeter imbalance, 18 millimeter low right shoulder, and four scoliosis curves. A 16 millimeter short right leg and eight millimeter left pelvic rotation, sharp C5, C6 reverse curve, a huge hook on the back of his occiput and one half atlas wear, significant constipation, and a sway back. So I'm going right down here. Good. How was that different than the other ones? It felt like a lot more uh, specific and deeper. Good, nice. <clears throat> and you could feel where I was on that. I was the yeah. lower part of your neck. Do you feel exactly? It feels a lot more specific. Um, when you do it versus the other guys. Uh, you're gonna get up in a second, JP. When you get up, no twisting or turning, right? Okay. Okay. And the more you twist and turn, the more you're gonna undo my work. So, first impressions at all? If there is, is any, if there's not, it's okay. Yeah, I feel a lot different. Like I feel lighter in my chest area and my okay. shoulders. So you've gone to a thousand chiropractic business last year, whatever <laughs> that is, and you paid a shitload of money. Have you ever had this sensation after an adjustment? No, <laughs> not like like I told you. Only that one time with the with my latest Cairo, he adjusted me, and I felt kind of like similar to this. But um, the last three days, you said. Yeah. But at least one Cairo. So, yeah, one, one time incident. And one time, like probably eighty adjustments. <laughs> yeah. Why are you smiling, dude? It feels a lot different. <laughs> Go in the room. So, uh, this one. So, I saw a big smile on your face. You haven't smiled yet since you've been here. So, why are you smiling, dude? I don't know. Like, that, that tightness in my chest for some reason is a lot less. Like, I just feel way more. For light. some reason. I got you. Well, for me, because I did the yeah. shit. <laughs> and, like, I just feel lighter, more clear. I don't know. How is this different than all the other million adjustments you've had? You notice a response. Well, yeah, I noticed something actually changed. It feels like something changed. Yeah. You're not just saying that because you're like, I gotta say something good for the camera. Uh, I've been struggling with this for way too long and like it's been affecting my life way too much to... Uh, Again, just <laughs> I wish you guys could see this. This morning he was actually crying. He was tearing up because of how bad it was. And to see him smile, it makes me smile because you couldn't even put a smile on your face earlier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look at it. He's smiling. So look at the floor, please. Goodness, that's a lot less tight. That's like... So maybe you guys in South Africa should actually watch my videos because I think I did something different than you guys. With the ceiling? I'm gonna get some negative comments on that one. You know what's funny? Like, remember I told you I feel better when I go back, but now doing this feels the same as this. So like, yeah, that's so weird. That's cool. Huh, cool. <clears throat> this is me gloating, by the way. Okay, arm up hip. That was a three or two or three. Or yeah, it's just. like a like a one maybe. Different, right? Tightness, yeah. A little okay, bit turn down. Now the deep breath. That was a three or four on your chest. Zero. Okay, and how long have you been suffering this fucking chest pain? Well, the chest pain like two years, but the the other symptoms um, about solid 10, 11 months. Almost okay, about like a year. So I just solved your two or three year old problem in one visit. Is that what you're telling me? Well. We'll see how it goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'm, I'm cool. I, got, I like that. I like that. He's been he's been lied to. I mean, talked to many times about this stuff, so I get it. I would be the same way. So, I'll squat to the ground, please. How about the knee pain there? Mm -hmm. How much? Like a three. Three. Go and stand when up. I go up. It's like a four. So okay, got five. you. Hard to believe. You can kiss my hand. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why does it feel so smooth? Because it is smooth. Again, this is called chiropractic, people. This is how proper chiropractic alignments help the body. 
instantly. It's not hard to help somebody. It's hard to maintain it. And we're talking about muscle memory in the future. But again, he's feeling repercussions of a proper neck adjustment. <sighs> if anything I can do is I can show you other chiropractors out there that this is possible. I hope you guys know. Dream the big dream. You can help people. Okay. So um, what else we got? Uh, the vision, right? Oh, the vision. <laughs> Smell my ball. Sorry, <laughs> I, I couldn't help it here. Yeah, it's it's like a lot more menthol, like a menthol. Yeah, is it different a little bit? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of the same. Okay. Good. Let's check your vision. This is the most fun one. I can't wait to see this one. Still blurry? Yeah, pretty much the same still, kind of. Okay. It's hard. Now stay, stay on him, stay on him, now tilt your head to the right. Yeah, it's still like a lot less, but I can I could actually make out what it says now. But so it's how still much better is that you think? About thirty percent better. Got you going to stay back up? Good. What do you think so far, sir? I mean it's like it feels a lot different. I mean I've I've been adjusted so many times by so many different cars and nothing else felt like like this instant relief or like change in my body even just walking the squat everything just feels way way different a lot better it's the first day dude You're here for two weeks yeah <laughs> that's jp's first video we documented his two-week journey in this office over eight different videos we also included a testimonial video that he wrote himself to share his experience in this office the next video to the series is right there if you want these sent right to you, hit that bell notification right there. See you in the next video.